hi welcome back to my channel heavenly designs and i'm back on talking about that coffee dyed paper so what i didn't tell you in the last video is i use um for this one i'm using a 28 pound 97 brightness um radiant white inkjet laser copier paper normally i don't use the 28 pound paper but it's all that I have right now. Normally, I just use a regular copy paper, the cheap run-of-the-mill copy paper. Um, this is my nicer paper that um, I'm using because I had to do this video in a pinch, and that was the paper that I had on hand. But let's talk about and think about papers. You can use all kinds of paper. You can use, um, I've, I've made coffee, coffee dye paper using napkins. I've used um, envelopes. So there's all kinds of things that you can use. The key to it is that if it's a delicate paper, then it doesn't get submerged as long because it's gonna be, it's gonna be easy for it to tear. And then the second thing is being very careful when you take out those delicate papers so that they don't tear. You have to be very careful anyway when you're working with the paper because um, they can tear um, fairly easily. So in front of you, I have two pieces that I have coffee dyed. Now one, one piece you'll notice is a little bit lighter than the other piece. So if you don't want, and the, but the other side is about the same as the first one. So if you want your pieces to be evenly, um, you want them to be even in color, kinda, then what I do is I, when I take it out of the oven, I simply take and flip the paper over. I take a, a brush or a sponge of some sort and I simply just go across it and then I pop it back in the oven. That allows me to get that nice golden color on both sides of my paper. So I hope that this has helped someone to learn how to coffee dye. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below. Um, and I will most definitely try to answer your, your questions about using coffee or tea to dye your paper. The key that I want to talk about for dyeing paper with, with tea, and I don't have a batch of tea dye paper. I just did coffee um, tonight. But the key for me is making sure that it's dark. Um, the darker the liquid when I start to use it, the, the nicer golden or color that I'm going to come out with on my paper. So, thanks for watching um, how to coffee dye paper, how to tea dye paper. And if you have any questions, again, post, some, post comments for those questions. And you are very valuable to um, Heavily Designs. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great evening.